All right. So this is Kenny Santos, our Tron Kenner for KennySantos.com. It is Wednesday, so it's time for a personal development tip. And this one is all about the hidden power of media or even social media. Now, um, th I've noticed something in my behavior and I've noticed something in my attitudes, my attitude, yeah, or my irritability factors lately. And I finally found out what's been happening in my life. Um, that's making me more irritable. And my friends are noticing, my family are noticing, they're, they're asking me, Kenny, is, is, is everything okay with you? And I've noticed that I'm just not as happy as I have been. And I think I know the reason. Now, before I get into the reason and you know how this is important to you and how you can avoid this as well, is um, I, I, first of all, if you get value from what I do, from my, my videos, my blog, my content, then I invite you to like, subscribe, share, and comment. It's a super easy way and a simple way for you to support my blog and my channel for free. And so lately, the last couple of days, I've just noticed that I've, I find things more irritating. And it really, I feel like how I was when I was younger. When I was younger, I didn't recognize that how much easier it is to be nice to people and how much easier your life is when you're nicer and, and how much if more fun your life is, is when you're happier. And, you know, I've always been known as a nice guy, but I've always had a short fuse or in the past I've had a short fuse. And what happened was this was, um, you guys probably remember uh, a couple weeks back where there was a big hoopla about that uh, school age kid uh, with the, that had the MAGA hat on that was, uh, portrayed as, um, you know, had a smug look to the, um, to the, the native Indian chieftain during some rally. And, you know, there was some back and forth and how the kid, you know, the, on one side of the equation, they said that kid need to be doxxed and the other side of the equation, uh, you know, uh, you know, people were, were uh, sticking up for him and all that stuff. Uh, you know, I ended up watching that video on YouTube. Now it doesn't matter what my comments are on that, but what happened was, was that on the suggested videos, because YouTube picked up what I was watching, uh, some other types of video came up, you know, videos about sovereign citizens, videos, Judge Judy even came up. Um, and those are all entertaining and I kind of watched them and I thought, well, these people are kind of silly. This is foolish for me to watch, but I didn't recognize that that sort, those sort of negative videos were actually plaguing on my subconscious because I try to keep my subconscious clean and without knowing it, I was letting negative influences into my subconscious. Um, it's, it's kind of like when you watch the news. I mean, here in Canada or Toronto, there's a channel called CP24. It's just 24 hour news station. And you know, it always shows the weather and it always shows these headlines. And you know, I turned it on just to, you know, to look at the news feed and every headline was negative, whether it was someone that got shot or, you know, there was an Amber Alert or whether, you know, someone got, um, you know, uh, robbed or something like that, or there's an accident or, you know, so, uh, one of the homeless people uh, froze to death or whatever the case may be, always something negative that's happening. And if you let these negative influences into your life, Without you even knowing it, they will make you more irritable. They will impede your path to success, all right? So don't let it in. I've identified what's been making me so irritable, and now that I'm, they're not in, it's not in my life anymore, I'm happier once again. And I hate to think of what could have happened if I didn't recognize that and I kept letting that into my life. Because I don't normally let that stuff into my life, but for whatever reason, my guard was down and I did. And so for those of you, especially those of you that watch the news at night, some people I know, they fall asleep to the negative news and it's just in, uh, it's just programming their subconscious throughout the whole entire night. Not a good thing. And I've noticed that those people that I know, they aren't as happy as the other people. And so don't let that negative news in. You know what? Don't even watch the news. All right. Don't, don't even watch it. No, whether you watch Fox News or whether you watch CNN or whether you watch something else, they have a, um, an agenda and they are determined to tell you their version of the truth. They're not determined to tell you the truth, but their version of the truth, which is often one sided. So watch what you watch, or if you're going to watch, at least watch both sides so you can get like, your own opinions on things versus just one station's, uh, you know, slanted opinion on that. But more of that, watch out about the hidden power of social media. If someone is negative on your social media feed, you got to shut that out. You got to block them, unfollow them, do whatever you need to do, but you can get them out. And I, I promise you, you start, uh, 
eliminating all the negative influences, all the negative media, watch how happy, how much happier you're going to get in, in a short period of time. It could take a day, it could take a week, and you're going to see that you're going to get happier and happier and happier and more productive and faster on your road to success just because you've identified what's been making you negative, what's making you sad, what's making you angry, and you've even eliminated it so that it can no longer affect you. So I trust you got some great value out of this. I invite you to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, go over to my blog. It's kennysantos.com. You can put your name and email in. You're going to get an awesome audio and grow in your business. And remember this, every day, multiple times a day, the universe sends us miracles. We only got to do two things about that, right? We got to recognize those miracles. And then my favorite part, we get to accept those miracles, right? Take care. Create a great day.